Welcome to The Know, I'm Ashley Jenkins, and in a bit to get as far away as possible from the poorly received Windows 8, Microsoft has skipped right over 9 and today announced Windows 10, which will be released next year and will hopefully address some of the issues that made Windows 8 so avoidable. The new operating system brings back the start menu and ditches the split desktops of Windows 8, instead bringing more of those Metro and Touch elements into the more familiar and frankly more usable desktop. The start menu will feature live tiles off to the right side while keeping pinned and frequently accessed apps in their usual place, and both the tiles and start menu can be resized to suit your needs. The new task view gives you control over all your apps across multiple virtual desktops, allowing you to switch between them and move apps around with the help of Snap Assist, and you can snap up to four apps at the same time on each desktop. Apps can now run in Windows over the desktop, which will be a welcome development for those who disliked the full or snapped only view of Windows 8 style apps. The charm bar, which will be familiar to those on Windows 8 as the menu that pops out of the right side of the screen and gives easy access to functions like searching and settings will also make a return, though it may look a bit different and its design hasn't been finalized yet. There will be plenty of other tweaks for those using touch devices, and the OS will optimize itself depending on the input you're using. If you are, understandably, a skeptic after the last version and want to preview it, you're in luck. They'll launch their Windows Insider program tomorrow, offering a preview build, though you'll probably want to install it on a throwaway machine because, as early as it is, gonna be buggy as hell, and the full OS won't ship until next year. We'll put a link to the preview in the description. When Satya Nadella took over as Microsoft's CEO earlier this year, he said he wanted to drive toward a single unified operating system, but there's no word yet on how this might affect Windows Phone or Xbox. What do you think of the details available so far for Windows 10? Back on the right track, or do you still have further demands? Let us know in the comments. Remember, you get the best news in video games, entertainment, and tech right here, so make sure you like this video and subscribe to this channel and we'll keep you in the know.